little sister calling me a parasitic leech. Enjoy the Amish lifestyle. I'm 28 years old and live in a small town where there is a lack of jobs. I moved back in with my parents since we have a good relationship. I buy all the groceries and pay some of the bills. My little sister however, was not happy, she was saying that I should be a man and move out again. A few weeks ago however, she started continuously calling me a freeloader and a parasitic leech. Dot. My parents are anti-tech, they are not part of a religious cult, they just avoid tech and live a simplistic life the only modern tech they use is a laundry machine, a car, a flip phone, and a TV. They don't however, take away our gadgets if we paid for it themselves. When I turned 18 and was looking for my first job I had to handwrite a resume since we didn't have a computer or a printer. It's impossible to get a job while still in HS because of the small job market in our town. Now, my little sister was lucky, I bought her a PC, a smartphone, and a data mobile plan since she was a young child yet she was continuously calling me a parasitic leech. Eventually, my little sister's constant name calling got on my nerves and I came up with a plan. I simply repossessed all of my belongings a few days ago. Now she is having the same childhood I had. Oh, and she stopped with the name calling. Enjoy the Amish lifestyle little sis. Edit the smartphone and data is under an installment plan, and the PC was ordinarily kept in the living room and shared between my sister and I before I moved out. I did not steal anything. Bite the hand that feeds you and it stops feeding you tech. Good for you, you don't get to be a brat with shit I bought. If that's how she feels then she should stop being a parasitic leech to her parents and start contributing. Good for you for having a spine. It's a gentler lesson when family dishes it out vs what the world will do to her. How are you a parasitic leech when you pay for the groceries and some of the bills? You also have provided some tech in the house that she is enjoying. I don't understand her logic thinking. Did she forget that you were contributing? This is a good case of FAFO. Edit spelling. How are you a leech if you're paying? Nice pettiness. I don't get why people think you did anything wrong. And I don't think she understands what a leech is. Teenagers can be real spiteful for no reason. Good job giving her a reality check. It's what a parent would do if their child was being bratty rude. Lesson that need to be learned relieved face. That's edit how you teach the lesson. It's hilarious to me that the actual freeloading parasitic leech is calling that to the person paying bills in that house face with tears of joy. Good on you. Let her pay for her own stuff if she wants it. Good serves her right. Of course the name calling stopped, probably all the calling in general as well face with tears of joy. First you had to get her attention. Then you totally delivered. Teens can be jerks and some won't stop until they are taught a real lesson. Have a great weekend with your PC and your smartphone. Parasitic leech. Takes away tech. Dearest brother. Good. Absolute brat behavior. I hope she suffers. I'll bet she learns the symbiotic advantage of being a decent person. You should have done that right she started acting up and being entitled. But good on you for giving her a teachable moment. Maybe next time, she won't be so mean. Good for you I would have repossessed all those things as soon as she started doing that crap the first time but now she can enjoy the bed that she made. I was kind of hoping that OP was paying for electric and turned it off, or something like that. But she's 16, so this works better. LOL at all the entitled children crying that OP was mean to his sister by taking the things he bought. She clearly believes very strongly that if you don't buy something you are a freeloader, and as she is so anti-freeloader, obviously she would be against just getting something like a computer from her brother for free. Maybe she can earn it back or you know, apologize for being an ass had to be done. Teenagers are idiots. I was an idiot when I was a teenager. Good for you teaching her that acting like a dick has consequences. 
LOL, Petty Revenge Best Served Gadget Less. And she stopped with the name calling. Well it is difficult to call without a phone. S. Excellent. She's a teenager. Teens are dumb a lot of the time. Chances are she'll grow out of it. If she doesn't, at least you try to help her along the way. Maybe she's been listening to those moronic trad lifestyle type podcasts. I love a good story of well if I'm doing the time, I might as well do the crime. Your sister was mad that you were around the house and she couldn't get away with shit. Your sister grew up basically an only child so awesome job serving that humble pie. Do it now so when there's safety nets. I'm assuming if she apologizes and acknowledges she wrong you'll give it back to her and until then, too bad so sad. Ha love it. Well done, older brother. Your younger sister was disrespectful. LOL maybe little sweetie learned something here. The entitlement runs deep in your sister. Hopefully she will learn something from the experience but probably not. She will play the victim and you will be the mean big brother. I'm glad she learned about consequences. Teenagers sometimes need that sucks for her but in this economy no one should feel bad about generational living. Petty I approve wholeheartedly rolling on the floor laughing. What a wonderful teaching moment. I'm sure she'll be kissing, apologizing soon. LOL. Classic case of play stupid games, win stupid prizes with a heaping helping of fuck around and find out. I believe the incredible irony here is probably that your sister used those gadgets to become connected to some sort of subculture, or generally internet opinion I suppose that taught her that an adult moving back in with his parents were those specific insults. NBSB. Highly recommend, if possible, that you have a calm conversation with her about how she came to those particular opinions. Could be just teenage Ness but it could be more invasive especially if she gained largely unsupervised access to the internet very suddenly. The algorithms will get you somewhere toxic real quick. Good for you and her. What an ungrateful brat. Good on you. Time to blast some weird El Yankovic Amish paradise in her face. Sounds like little sister was sneaking out some and now can't do that cos big brother is home. She just sounds super motivated to get you out of the house again, so something is up. Did you steal the good room, lol? That was the right thing to do. Good. Will you bite? The hand that feeds you. Your sister will grow up. Eventually. At 16 I was a right little prat. I don't disagree with the taking back of things you bought for her to make her life easier. It's a good lesson but maybe talk with her about them and hand them back. Introduce her to your perspective. Reintroduce the concept that you have evidently tried to instill that you are a team. Part of a family. She may still be a little snot but she is your sister. Hopefully when she is your age she will have your insight and decency. And the recurring theme I find in posts ranging around Reddit and elsewhere those the most guilty of a sin accuse everyone else of it. The person screaming racism is likely the biggest racist. The one calling you rude is, more than likely, the rudest one in the room. And here we have a parasitic leech accusing OP of being a parasitic leech. I think your parents are ours for clearly letting her believe that they were providing these things, not you. Actions meet consequences. When I turned 18 and was looking for my first job I had to handwrite a resume since we didn't have a computer or a printer. No libraries in this town? None at school? I think when people post stuff here they forget that 50 of the people who comment are under the age of 18 and think that anyone who does, anything other than spoil children is some sort of abusive monster. Good for you this does not sound petty at all. This is merely a case of actions meeting consequences. Edited for voice text fail. Parasitic leech. You were contributing, so you were the opposite of a parasite. You were in a symbiotic relationship with your parents' household, 